Hi, I'm Sunny. I'm the lifestyle mentor certified with Tiny Habits Method, specialized in healthy aging. I'm on my journey to share the alphabets of the healthy lifestyle at the cellular and molecular level. Thank you for joining me for this week's The Alphabets of the Healthy Lifestyle. We are in the C. I choose C as commitments. People might know I am the happy coach. The first thing that's jumping their mind is, oh, Sunny is helping people to stay and committed to the habits they want to build. Yes, I want you to continue consistently to perform and to build the habits you want to do. However, I'm using the tiny habits method, which is might be different than what you believe. The habits need to get a lot of force, need to have a reputation. We need to have a strong willpower. Those are part of the equation. We do need those to start a habits building. However, the really the key for habit to stick and become a true habit is our emotion. If we don't feel successful, if we don't feel happy, and even we can perform that behavior because we want to fit in, right? We want to get that incentive. We want to please others. But that is not the commitments we are talking about because you're still going out. You still fulfill others expectation and how about you what do you really like the commitment here is for people want to commit it to themselves for me i committed to two things my inner peace and joy why the inner peace is so important when we think about peace equal to less stress And we all know that stress is really the modern society, the invisible killer. We have so many chronic disease or conditions or because we have this toxic stress too long and we're not paying attention. For me, in order to have a stress last life, inner peace is very important to me. So how can I go into the inner peace? Now I figured out it's called coherence. If my mind and my heart are aligned in the same place, which means when people say, Sunny, could you do that? And I'm, ha, ah, yes, I love to do that. I really mean I want to do it so that my mind and my heart, they are in the same place. That's called coherent. So when we have the coherent, that's how our frequency, our energy is moving the same way. That's how we can get things done effortlessly. So that inner peace is not just that you have to go vacation and lie down there doing nothing. It can be everything every day, even in the very chaotic environments, you still doing things you're supposed to do. And I enjoy doing it. That is the inner peace part. And what about joy? See, I committed to joy not long ago, but I know the power of it because in the past life, 20 or 30 years, I just don't commit it to joy. I want to be happy, but I always attract unhappiness. Why so? Because I want it. I want to be happy. So I force myself to get that. I thought that's the commitment. Now I know. Well, the commitments might be on the surface, we are doing something, we want to do something, but in the deep dive down there is really the alignment. If I'm unconditionally want to commit it to joy, I should eliminate everything, bring me down. I should turn the TV off when those yucky things I don't want to see. Or I should just focus on myself and know what kind of a negativity I still hold it too tight. And that is blocking me for the true joy. So that's the two things I committed to, inner peace and joy. Wondering what is your commitment to anything in your life? Remember, we can only focus on ourselves. Yes, we can commit it to serve the country. You can commit it to be a good parent. We can be committed to a big and good company owner. 
but those is commitment will come after once we commit it to ourselves. We are aligned with our purpose. We enjoy what we do. And everything we do is coming out from our authentic self. Yes, inner peace and joy is become sustainable effortlessly because they are part of us. They are our habits to stay committed with peace and joy. Thank you for listening to this. Welcome to follow me in the linking. Let's commit it to peace and joy. Enjoy your life. See you next time.